Hello and welcome back to my Let's Challenge of Jack X Combat Racing. In the last episode, we gained several more medals as we continue our way through the Red Eco Cup, and we are up to six lives, which is actually really, really nice. We are yet to lose a life in this run, which is really nice. As you can see, we have three there, four, five, six. So we have six lives, six gold medals that we've got the first time. Um, and yeah, we're just going to continue and hope for a continued uh, good fortune uh, as we continue through this next section. So the next one we're going to do is going to be the Forbidden Jungle and the Freeze Rally there. I'm just going to move the camera slightly. Use the eco well here, or you won't see the next sunrise. You'll pass under a large canopy of trees and do some ancient ruins. Drive fast, or you'll be ruined yourself. <laughs> of course, of course we get some sort of uh, joke. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to save up some orbs. We're going to start upgrading that engine a bit. But uh, So yeah, so Freeze Rally through the Forbidden Jungle. This one's... Uh, obviously, we've already done freeze rallies before. We've done um, the, uh, the Sparga City freeze rally, and ah, oh, good. So if you can get a boost at the start of freeze rallies, that's obviously a really good start. Um, and there's a deal that isn't, but it's okay. It's a pretty obvious one, so we shouldn't have too much trouble hitting it next time round. So we hit that big ten. So, Forbidden Jungle is one of the sort of core tracks in the Haven City area. Um, we won't come across the others for a while, actually, I don't know. Or maybe just, maybe it's just this green eco cup robbery. Maybe it's a load of rubbish. But, um... So, we're just going to make our way through this section. And we'll take uh, the left-hand route, and you need to make sure you hit everything that's on that route. Remember that there's something hidden under there. And then we're going to enter the uh, the ruin section, which uh, is just here. We missed the 10, which is kind of annoying. Um, you don't want to leave any big scoring timers toward the end, just because you don't want to obviously um, miss out on getting that through the middle, so because I've missed that 10, which is properly unhelpful, I'm going to pause, grab that 5. One lap we might not get gold here, um, just recognising that, but uh, again, these freeze rallies, we don't need to get gold first time, it's the important thing to remember, just as long as we don't like fail miserably, that's the important thing. You can see you start building up quite a sort of a stock of um, time over, so like the whole of the first half of this track has been done in uh, with time frozen. Okay, good. Okay, so now we need to make a sharp turn and make sure we head right here. Grab that five. Yes, we got it. Oh. Not think I was going to get that. I was going to grab that too. So we've got a fair amount of work here in order to get all the freezers. Uh, so grab that too. And then I think we've got one here. And we've got to line this up nice. Oh, that's going to be a mess to line up. Good. Okay, and now we've got to grab these two in a row. Uh, we should actually be okay. Um, you can see it says uh, we're on track for silver. But we should be okay for gold. Because as you can see, it's just changed there because we're going to get the bonus 10 seconds for getting all of the freezers. Which is amazing. So, that's really good. We get 10 bonus seconds for collecting all the medals. That's really nice. That gives us um, another gold medal. So we're up to 7 now. 
That was really good. And now we we'll obviously do the ice lens. Uh, the ice band citadel one. Which this is a circuit race. Cool track, Jack. The poor lads can't get a break here. But you better break a lot or you'll slide out on the ice. Remember to pick your lines carefully on those turns. Oh, and by the way, the rocks say hi. So, here we go. We've obviously already done this track before, so I uh, don't need to say too much about it. Tonight. This one's... I do like this track, though. And they like them too. Oh, another great start. It's been a very nice beginning in many ways. So I'm going to take this route. I take this route mainly because, um, one, you can get max boost really easily. And two, the, uh, your opponents don't take this route. And because they don't take this route, it means I am not at risk of being destroyed by them. Although as soon as you come back onto, as soon as you join the, tr the main track, then obviously they can. Oh, okay. You could really use a rear weapon. You could really use a, a rear weapon. Okay. So as you can see, hitting those uh, big snowballs does do quite a lot of damage to you. Here because there's health over here, and health is obviously always really nice. Oh, man. I'll probably leave like, the whole of the race and end up being ripped into four by the end or something like that. So, missiles do on average about um, a quarter, uh, so about half health. Uh, each one's a quarter, so obviously when you've got four missiles, um, you usually, I say this with sort of like precautionary, you'll often uh, take a guy out, you can take someone out from full health because, um, let's go the other way. Uh, so yeah, like I say, um, so they normally do about, they each do a quarter, and wow, third one in a row. Nice placement of an oil slick there. The boat's driving right behind him. As we take out. So, as you can see, we can take out a shiv there from just about half health, which is really nice. Again, we get hit by a snowball, which is a great. It won't cost us too much. Unfortunately, our weapons here can't really hurt Sig whatsoever, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Sit down here. Make sure we get that health. Can we get, can we get ahead, but can we stay ahead? Weapon, do you have stick and are you gonna have missiles? Oh, we're really, really good luck there. And an awesome final weapon. Okay, we should win this. Yes! Yes! That's awesome. That's really, really good. So, again, another gold medal. We can get that at some point. So, we're up to eight. Eight. Really quickly, which is really nice. There you are, Jack. Getting some local color? <laughs> you certainly need it. You're positively pale on screen. Listen, I just wanted to tell your group that you can earn cool gadgets performing odd jobs for the commission and others. What kind of jobs? What kind of gadgets? Good stuff. For instance, there are some dirt forming robots that went berserk in the crass dirt stadium. They need to be destroyed before someone gets hurt. 
Hunt them all down, and you'll be rewarded. Sounds good. Sounds dangerous! It is. But the prizes are good, and you'll need them. That is, if you want to continue upgrading your car to keep up with the Joneses. The job's waiting if you want. But be careful. We wouldn't want to hurt one of our star up-and-coming racers. So, I've always heard a thing about that cutscene, because I have no idea who the Joneses are. And I feel like that's sort of like a big flaw, that, you know, he talks about that. Anyway, as you can see, we are unlock lots more tracks, lots more routes. The thing he's talking about here is in the Dirt Stadium. Um, and we are not going to do that. We are going to do the... We're going to do the Precursor Temple to start off with. So... Precursor Temple, this is, um... Temple Track has plenty of opportunity for the veteran drivers and lots of gas for the novices. Keep plenty of speed through the turns, and watch the temple structures to get air off of. Make me proud, Jack. So, uh, the temple is the third of the sort of three, um, core tracks of, um, Spargus, the Spargus region. We've had, uh, we've got Spargus City, you've got the temple, and you've got, um... Actually, no, it's only the second of them that we think. The final one is the canyon, which we haven't uh, met yet. And again, getting these first, getting these early boosts is really nice. Oh, just good form. The temple's really fun. Um, I really like this track. You do get a lot of air, lots of places you get random jumps off of. Um, lots of places just to crash accidentally or make big mistakes, but you know. Be able to take out no. some of these guys with our missiles. Okay, so they close down. Sorry about that, the camera fell, so, uh, and I died, well, <laughs> I blame the, uh, the slight, you know, disruption of my, uh, of how I was driving. One lap finish. So yeah, again, it's important to note that, um, the CPU difficulty does increase quite severely, um, when we get into, uh, the next few Grand Prix green. Yellow, etc. So, getting nice, some nice uh, lives now, but um, just because I have them in the bank now doesn't mean uh, always means that you know doesn't mean I'll be able to keep on hold on to them for the rest of the time. Annoyingly, uh, one of those. Um, oh no! Okay, it's destroyed itself. In a second. Essentially, one of those uh, weapons that uh, just hunts down the person in the first place. Um, one of those was going around the track ahead of me, and I was worried that it would sort of go around the whole track and be able to catch up before before I got around. But anyway, let's, uh, let's keep going. My ride gate peppers. I love well placed turrets. Lots of turrets, which is really nice. There we go. Beautiful. But flaming oil slicks are almost entirely the best uh, reverse 
weapon here. The reason being is that um, occasionally you'll just get enemies that get stuck on them and you'll just get kill after kill after kill just because uh, they can't, they keep respawning on top of the oil smoke. But there we go, nice and simple. That wasn't too difficult at all. That takes us up to nine. Here, I'm <laughs> just rather surprised by how well this is going. Okay, so that's good. Next up, we have Frozen Speedway. This is one of the crowd's favorite events. This is all about kills, kills, and did I mention kills? The crash count is what makes this the most watched event on the planet. Hit those targets and see how many points you can rack up, and enjoy it while you can. Death is only a button click away. Like when they change the channel. So Frozen Speedway is unique in that it's the only track that is um, self-contained. In the, uh, There's no part of this track which is used in other tracks um, in terms of the actual circuits. Um, it's also very, very short. It's the track that uh, we use for yellow eco training, essentially. And it's so short that essentially you just go around as fast as possible and you see how many uh, kills you can get. As you can see, the target is a huge 500. And the reason for that is just you just end up getting so many kills just from, um, just from, uh, you know, you just, that, that lap bonus just ends up getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it really, really helps. sort of like you don't worry about like on other tracks you know you can sort of slow down to try and take out the cars as they appear in front of you on this one you, know, you just concentrate on getting as fast as possible and you just kill cars on the way so we're already at what 196 oh this is a good combo oh it's a lovely combo thing is just to not uh, not drive off the track, which you can do obviously um, on this set of this part of the track. If you drive off the track there, it's just unhelpful. Because obviously uh, if you crash you lose your juiced up state and you lose your ability to take out oh, the track. Uh, the ability to get the good weapons fast. We should get gold. We should get gold here. Thirteen. Oh, that's a good score. That's a really nice score. And a gold medal, just to keep adding on to those gold medals. So that's Thanks ten. The Grand Prix qualifier, Jack. You must earn a gold medal in each qualifying race in order to be invited to the big event. So once again, we got another Grand Prix qualifier, and this photo is the same as the previous one, which we had in. Jack um, is getting great points for the season. But I heard well, a nasty rumor that or someone's throwing no, death money throw. around hiring top mercenary drivers to race. Whoever it is, they want to beat us badly. I hear these new drivers.
bad as they're getting bonuses for kills. And I'm sure they wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Oh, great! That's all we need! Uh-oh. Here comes a rather large specimen now. Well, well. If it isn't the rat and his mangy ant. Oh, you're Orion. Have you met Mythos New Tracer? This is UR-86, the deadliest driver on the planet. Behind me, of course. <laughs> 86 holds some of the top records for kills in a single event. Even I have to watch out for this one. <laughs> Don't be shy. This bucket of bolts loves living things. So he can make them dead. <laughs> Good luck out there. So there is your formal introduction to UR86 in the Red Cup Grand Prix. Ready, go! And now we've got Crass City. So uh, this track is really pretty short. And as obviously um, we've driven parts of it before we drew. Uh, uh, we drove parts of this in the very first tutorial that we had. It's also the scene of the opening cutscene. It's all throughout this, uh, all throughout this, uh, circuit. And it's pretty short, as you can see, it's uh, one of the only tracks with three laps. Um, I think Frozen Speedway gets five because it's so short. And that was a poor corner. Pile of so again, uh, similar to the uh, Death Drone one, uh, we do need to win this eventually, but um, at the moment it's not too much of a worry. We don't need to win it first time. We just need to make sure that we don't come forward. This is, uh, this is not a particularly easy event. Sometimes you don't always need the reticle there in order to uh, be guaranteed to kill with missiles, which is really nice. This is also a track with multiple routes. Um, one of them is up here. Which is the one that Shiv is taking and the one which means that he's so far ahead of everyone else. Ridiculously far ahead of everyone else. Uh, we need to get the uh, good old uh, burst weapons, burst killing weapons on him as fast as possible. There we go. Okay, so where are we? Oh, down. oh come on. Okay, so avoid that. <laughs> that oil was potentially treacherous. Anyway, as you can see, Shiv, even though being destroyed, is like still a few mile ahead of everyone else. Uh, we're not going to be able to catch him, is essentially the simple matter of things, but we are going to be able to get a silver medal once more. A winner screams across the line! It's not often that you see oh, someone who wins by that much, but that's sort of what happens on, a, you know, on hero mode. It's a good reminder that this is hero mode and that, uh, you know, these races are, are not going to be as easy as you think. So if two silver medals in our Grand Prix, we are going to have to do them again, and obviously every time we do them from now on, if we don't get first, we lose a life. So it's good that we've got ten in the bank. Um, next track we're going to do is this one, Timberline Track, which I believe is the first introduction to Rush Hour. Race, you about to experience life-handed driving. Full contact racing. This is the Rush Hour Challenge, and the object of this little Sunday drive is to ram as many other vehicles as you can. That's right. Smash and crash anything that moves on the track. They'll be coming if you head on, so be ready to jive while you drive. The more cars you bust up, the better your points. Go get them, Chili Pepper! There's obviously Sig telling us what's going on and here. So we have Timberlight, uh, Rush Hour, they're essentially you get oncoming traffic and you go run into them, and uh, green cars are worth one point. Blue cars are worth two, and red cars will hurt, you know, deal damage to your car. Um, I'm going to choose the Basher for this one, only because it's generally more stable upon being hit by things, and you want to have sort of like a good solid base in this uh, sort of event. But obviously, 
it's quite slow, but that's no issue because Timberline Track is a very long track. Uh, it goes between, I believe it goes between Mountaintop Highway and, uh, it goes between the mountains and the Citadel. And so, um, it's a long track and essentially we don't expect to reach lap two, or if we do reach lap two, it's very, very briefly. And so, um, this is far more about hitting as many cars as possible in the first lap. And the so here we go. So in rush hour you get mental combos, like huge, huge combos. And that's um, a huge basis of where you get all your points essentially. You want to get that combo video going flying through the room. And you can get, um, I mean I've had combos up to, you can get 30 is pretty easy to get, as you can see if I haven't missed that green one. The other nice thing about this car is that it's actually very wide, and so wide cars are obviously good at this because it means you'll just run into more cars. Statistically speaking, of course. But obviously, similarly to the um, Death races and all these other events that are, this is again an event where because there are no CPUs on the track with you, um, I should be able to get gold. I should be able to get gold. So this is when we start coming into the, uh, the Citadel part of the uh, track. Nice. So what do we have? We have 295. And silver is 350. So we are at 250. So it's going to be 450 for gold. High combos. Twenty. Uh, get that help. Don't want to be exploding. Please follow oh. a bit out of the way. Wow, we are going to reach lap two. So. Obviously, we'll be able to get lots and lots of points very quickly. Unfortunately, we're going to explode. We should be okay. 4.63, there we go, sweet. It's the fastest I've ever done this. I don't remember getting into lap two. It's only not this far into lap two. We're going to get a massive score. What do we have? 5.67, wow, beat it by over 100. That's really good, that's a very, very good score. And there's obviously another gold. Which takes our total up to 11. I'm really surprised that so far we haven't actually had a single race where we haven't failed to get silver, which is really, really good, actually. This is an important challenge, Jack. Father always loved this one. Collect as many points as you can, but watch out for the other racers. They'll find ways to steal points right out from under you. Show no mercy, I say. So, Sport Hunt, this is the event that uh, GT Blitz gave the sort of, um, you had the, um, uh, cutscene 4, which is all about taking out um, a sport hunt, is essentially there are neutral uh, objectives around the map that you need to just destroy, and you need to score more than everyone else does. And in this case it is a time limit one, so we have four minutes to try and get as many of these guys, these sort of, uh, those things as possible. These are dirt, Whatever they were called. Oh, you are kidding me. That's my point. Whatever. I'm watching the 
In uh, future sport hunts, the uh, opponents, well, I think there's only actually one more in the game, if I remember correctly. I have stop my kill again. But uh, essentially, um, in future sport hunts, uh, quite a lot of the, uh, the things that you're hunting are quite a lot more mobile than these guys. So see, these guys we can catch up with. The other sport hunt is a lot harder. There is only one there. I might be incorrect in saying that, but I think there is. In the story campaign, obviously. Go hit something, please. I think we could probably not do anything for the last 20 seconds of this, but uh, let's see if we can get 15. Death just before the end. I think that was our own death. As you can see, we win by miles. Uh, one, 24 kills and one death, which is right at the end. But there we go, another gold medal, which is really good. And that takes our total up to 12. Serious competition today. People have been betting big. They say this championship's gonna come down to you guys and Miso's dream team. <laughs> Still, the odds makers say your team falls short. That's because most fools haven't figured me into the mix. Sig! Is my camera out of focus? The great Sig has entered the competition. This is going to be better than I thought. But if you'll excuse me, I've got some real interviews to do. Yes, you people. Sorry I'm late for the party, guys. I heard about Cruz's little potion. That's why I never drink on the job. I say, never trust a dead man. Don't worry, I'll help you get that animal. 
for you to say, your life's not on the line. For my friends, it is. It's good to have you back, Sid. Great to be back. Now, let's see about this so-called competition. So there you go, your introduction to Sig in the game as well. So, we've obviously still got um, the fact that we, our middle point is obviously 44 or 54. Uh, we need to get to 50 in order to be able to unlock the Grand Prix. And there are a total of 60 in the game. So there aren't that, there isn't that much left. As you can see, we Iceland's a perfect. Haven City, we've only got Sewer Raceway, which unlocks at 48. And then we've got Crass City, we've got Loading Docks and Mark Coliseum, and, and Spargus, we've got another Spargus City, I think it's a death, death race or... Yeah, death race. So, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of my Let's Challenge of uh, Jack X Combat Racing, and in the next episode what we're probably going to have to do is, uh, we're probably going to do the final, um, I guess it's, what, three? Four, three, four races of this uh, Red Eco Cup um, that we haven't done yet, and then we're going to go back to those Grand Prix qualifiers, and we're going to have our first shot at trying to get the gold trophies, that, sorry, the gold medals that we so desperately need for that. And hopefully, we won't start digging into our really healthy um, stock of lives at the moment. We currently have twelve, which is really, really big. Um, but uh, the thing with this game is obviously. Um, if you end up with a tough race, you can lose over and over and over again, and it will just be horrible. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you will join me on the next.